Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Tom Spark Reviews. My name is Tom Spark. I cover VPN content, privacy news, and stuff like that. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Today we're talking about um, this huge issue with the T app. Now, if you guys didn't know, there's this app called T, I guess. And basically what the app was designed to do was to help women stay safer online by kind of uploading their identification to prove that they're women. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll talk about that later. And then kind of discuss men to make sure that they were in a safe environment and not being catfished and so on. So the merits of the application seem okay. But I've seen on Twitter that people say that this app kind of was clumsily designed and was kind of made with like vibe coding, which basically means it's just sloppy code. So if you guys aren't familiar with the news, I'm going to be kind of talking about it here. What's going on? What are the things to know about it? Well, T was launched in 2023. It's a U.S. based application. Um, the, like I said, the primary objective was to protect women by sharing information about men they might date. Um, so this had like an anonymous forum, background checks, reverse image searches and ID selfie verification for the women who joined the platform. I guess it was made by someone called Sean Cook, who was inspired by his mother's bad online dating experiences. So this data breach happened on July 2026, um, which is uh well, it was disclosed today, um, but it actually happened a little bit ago, I do believe. Um, so what was exposed? Well, 72,000 images, including 13,000 selfies and ID documents of women who were using the platform. So yikes. If you're watching this video and you're one of the women who was using this application, well, you might want to use some applications out there uh, like Incogni. Let's go ahead and talk about that really quickly. So Incogni is basically a tool that you could use on the internet. If you use my link in the description down below, you'll be able to get this pricing with 50% off. Basically what happens is you enter your information into the website, this website, and it will therefore remove your information from various data brokers on the internet, websites like white pages that host your information. So if someone did see your leaked ID or selfie, um, this website will make it so it's harder to kind of track you down and find information about you. So definitely something I recommend if you're part of this data breach or really any data breach. So guys, what else is going on with this one? Um, well, I guess a hacker has accessed the legacy storage system um, that hadn't been moved to a newer, more secure infrastructure. I don't know about that. Um, I guess this information was kept for law enforcement use to combat cyberbullying. So who knows what they're sharing with law enforcement. I hope that was in the disclaimers and stuff like that for the privacy policy. Um, so what's happened after the leak? Um, well, photos and data were shared on 4chan, including driver licenses. So yeah, basically anyone who signed up before February 2024 is part of this leak. So this is a huge leak here, guys. I'm going to show you something on Twitter I saw with all this, like the locations, locations of people using the app was also leaked, which is pretty crazy. I guess apparently this app has been blowing up lately, over 2 million users in um, various weeks. So that's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look at those locations I was talking about. So basically this is what I saw. Doesn't look good. Driver's licenses leaked from the T app may have been uploaded or have been uploaded to a searchable map. So you can see directly where all these women were living. Oh uh, yeah, this is not looking good. Um, uh, yeah. So I guess this guy has a good summary of what happened as well. T app host all non-code assets, UI images, customer uploads, messages in a public cloud bucket that anyone with a browser can access without a password. Bad idea. Some guy finds it and posts it to 4chan yesterday morning. Turns out there are thousands of women driver licenses in there that are not protected. Within minutes, the licenses are scanned, probably with a vision model for addresses and map pins are created to link to the UUID images in the data set, thereby doxing thousands of women. The pins are not geos, they're home addresses, which is kind of worse. Honestly, this might be one of the worst data breaches I've seen with the amount of information exposed and what it means for the people. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of incels going kind of happy about this. But honestly, in my opinion, as someone who just cares about privacy and stuff like that, I feel bad for anyone who uses this application um, because this is probably one of the worst data breaches I've ever seen. So if you're part of this breach or you're someone who cares about protecting your privacy, check out Incogni. Um, that might be able to help you a little bit, although your address is already leaked and stuff like that. But 
it might help you if you move in the future or something like that or move information about yourself as much as possible. All right, guys, thanks for checking out this one. Like, comment, subscribe for more privacy news, and I'll see you again very soon.